I guess I found some motivation there, Tosh. <laughs> to come out today. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to run after that, though. <clears throat> Gotta find your motivation, guys. <clears throat> Man, it's freaking freezing down here, Southern California. You guys hear me? <laughs> That's the better backside than my backside. <clears throat> you guys can hear me, right? Making sure everything's good. Audio's good. It's just freaking freezing. Woo! Black swans happen all the time in trading, guys. I don't know why they call it a black swan when I see a black swan every single day. Here is a black duck. Woo! It is cold. It is freaking cold. Hope you guys are staying well in these markets. <clears throat> Man, it's so freaking cold. All right, I want to start. Woo! Look like a homeless guy on the street. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I mean, usually I am, right? <laughs> so when people say, um, "I want to be honest with you." Does that mean that they're lying all the other times? So it's kind of weird when people say, I'm going to be honest with you, right? So do not use that term, guys. I hate using that term. It's one of my, the, but the biggest pet peeve term is, can I ask you a question? Never use that. If you ask me, can I ask you a question? The answer is going to be no. And when people say, I'm going to be honest with you, think about it. What, all the other times you're lying? So be careful when you hear that too. <laughs> but anyways, I did not want to wake up today, guys. Seriously, I didn't want to wake up yesterday. I didn't want to wake up tomorrow to trade. I watched Alex's IG live on Monday. I mean, YouTube live. And that kind of like hit me, man. It hit me hard, too. I was... I'm feeling the same exact way as Alex. It's like... You know, we've been working our asses off for two and a half years. Ten hours a day. No breaks. At this important point, it's just you kind of lose your motivation, your passion's gone. When you stop having a reason to wake up, it's when you don't want to wake up. When money, money is not the driving force anymore for me. I mean, I'm not the richest guy in the world. I'm not the poorest guy in the world. I've, I've been at the super top. I've been at the super bottom. I know what I want in life and it's not materialistic shit I mean sure it's nice you need to have money to have freedom and all that kind of stuff but I'm wearing this fucking shit from Costco that costs like 15 bucks you know I mean <laughs> it's just it's just hard to wake up guys I'm telling you right now Yet, I'm putting myself in your shoes guys you have to have a reason that goes beyond yourself to make trading or to become successful if money is the only driving force that's not gonna work I'll tell you why because when you stop making money the first day you lose second day you lose you're gonna quit because you're like fuck trading is hard it was not as easy as these furus marketing guys make it seem all these guys on fucking Social media posting fucking Lambos and shit like that. And so it makes you think that, holy fuck, if this dumbass 22-year-old has all this shit, it must be easy. And then when you, get, when you get in there, the first thing you do is you lose. The moment you lose, you're like, oh, fuck. This is hard. And that's why people lose. They, they do it for the wrong fucking reasons, guys. If you, I'm telling you right now. If you want to chase fucking money, there's many 
ways to do it easier than trading. Okay? But if you want to make some serious fucking money in like a snap of a finger, it takes time. It's doable. The reason I've got up today, I tell you right now, man, Alex and show you the screenshots later. I was up at 3 a.m. I made myself a fucking instant ramen. Like a dollar instant ramen, man. But that felt so good. I've been eating fancy ass foods in Las Vegas. And then when I got home, dollar ramen was like fucking, it's just fucking amazing. You know, spending $2,000, $3,000 on dinner in Las Vegas. I posted some of them just insanely stupid shit. Did it make me happy? Not really. You know, you know what? I was happy paying for my friends who never really have that kind of experience. So that motivated me to want to go to those fancy places. But for me, fuck man, my instant ramen home was waiting for me. And so today, when I woke up, I was like, fuck, after I ate the instant ramen, I got back to bed, I'm gonna lay here for another hour. And I'm like, I actually felt very lazy. My intention was like, okay, if I'm gonna get, get up, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat at trading. And what I mean by cheating at trading, it means I'm gonna use Alex's watch list. Alex, Tom, James, other members, other moderators, Harry, whoever, they have a watch list at MIC. And I was like, fuck man, for the first time, I might just, just copy their shit. When I mean copy, it means just use their guide. They tell me which stocks are up, which stocks are good shorts, the lines to short, things like that. So I was like, fuck man, I felt so lazy. And then I realized I don't wanna fucking do that shit either. I'm just gonna lay in bed and not work. So I texted Alex and Taj to say I'm not coming to work. And not feeling well, which I have not. Well, look at this. This is a fucking sign, guys. This is a fucking sign. What the fuck? That's some scary shit. Out of nowhere, I'm walking around in this fucking balloon, dude. A fucking balloon of a happy face. I believe in signs like that, guys. It's just crazy, man. So, the reason I got up, because Tosh and Alex goes, take the day off, man. And then Alex goes, dude, take the rest of the week off. You don't need to come in anymore. I got it. We got it. The moment it did that, I felt so fucking guilty. I was like, here I am. Kind of like feeling sorry for myself. You know, dang it. Oops. Um, wait, wait, I lost my train of thought. Just, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's get back to track. Um, I'm joking, guys. But um, what the hell was I talking about? <laughs> um, but yeah, I felt so guilty. Alex told me, you know, this is the same thing that Alex feels. That's why he comes back to work. And I was like, fuck, man, I can't let these guys down. I can't let the members down. You know, it's, it's kind of like shit, man. It, it's, I'm telling you, the pressure, when we have, when you have a skill that other people would love to have, and then you do not maximize your skill, do not take advantage of the potential of your skill, it fucking sucks. Just like a lot of athletes, like John Jones, the UFC guy, he's so talented, but his personal life's all fucked up, things like that, guys. And so sometimes it's like, you have to find reasons more than your selfish self to want to succeed. So I'm succeeding not for myself. I'm getting up not for myself. I'm getting up because of Tosh, because of Alex, because of Harry, because of the MIC guys, because the members are depending on me, because of my friends, my family. And that has what has gotten me to where I am today, guys. Because man, as a day trader, people, if you've been trading this for a long time, you know, you're either, you're either fucking broke or you made a lot of money and you disappear. No one just fucking keeps trading forever. It's because the stress level is so fucking high where it becomes suicidal. Because the, the pressure, the stress to maintain, to compete, all that. When you lose your motivation 
above and beyond money. Because when I was young, money was the motivating factor. But it wasn't just money. It was the fact that I grew up in poverty. I wanted money, not just for myself, to help my family out. So the first thing I did when I became a successful trader, I literally paid off my sister's debts, bought my sister a house, you know, helped my mom. The first car I ever bought, the very first new car I bought was for my mom. I was making, this was, geez, man, whew, 15 years ago. You know, I was making seven figures, driving a fucking used BMW that fucking I bought from eBay and bought my mom a new car. You know, I mean, that, that, so that was my motivation back then. And so that's what kept me going. Days I did not want to wake up. Days that I lost money, felt like shit. I still got up. You know, it's when you do not want to do what you want to do. You need something to keep you going, guys. I don't know what it is, but I'm just trying to share it with you. This is why having a tab, a trading accountability buddy helps you, man. This is all the mental, psychological things that you can that you cannot fix yourself. You can put a hard stop, but you have to put the hard stop. You respect the hard stop. Things like that. But the hard stop is not going to slap you in the fucking face when you cancel it. The hard stop is not going to fucking make you wake up when you do not want to wake up or do not need to wake up. I do not need to wake up. I woke up because they said Alex and Thomas to take the week off. I'm like, dude, how can I fucking do this shit? Right? How can I? <laughs> I really did not want to wake up today, guys. But you know what, man? Today was Instagram Live Day as well. I I, I couldn't let you guys down. People were asking me all morning, are you going to do Instagram Live? And I was like, dude, you know, so so I got up. So you know what I did? I got up. I stopped feeling sorry for myself. You know, it's, it's stupid. When you think about it, we are all so entitled, guys. We are so fucking blessed. We are so fucking blessed and we don't know that. We keep crying and crying because the media, because the marketing, whoever makes us think that, you know, we always need more. We always need more. When, we, when what we have... It's right in front of us, man. So you have to sit down and decide what the fuck do you want to do if you want to trade? Is it to make fucking purely make money? You're going to need more than that, man. Because you're not going to make any fucking money, I guarantee you, in the first three months. And then you're going to start losing money. <laughs> you know, you, but I guarantee you, if you fucking keep at it and you're disciplined, one year of trading once you learn how to trade, you can potentially retire. Okay? But by retirement, I'm not talking about making enough to buy a Lamborghini, shit like that. So I was working at my job, making probably 2000 way back then as a software sales guy. And then I told myself, if I can save two years salary. So I made like, I made like $500,000 trading. And I still didn't want to quit. They had to kick me out. And so, so I'm thinking, fuck, dude. So those are the type of numbers. that This was like 15 years ago, dude. That was a lot of money back then. But the reason I did that, I didn't want to quit. The reason I quit, because they kind of forced me out. But at the same time, you know, I, I needed them to fund me trading. So how do you guys get started trading, guys? I'm going to be very quick and then we'll move on to another topic. But... You need money, dude, to trade. Plain and simple. These motherfuckers are telling you you don't need money. You need fucking money. But you need money not because the money is a day trade with. You need the money to live while you learn to trade. Get a fucking job. Get this fucking shit out of your mind that you need to be a full-time trader. Fuck you and your full-time trader dreams. Okay? Your first step is to fucking provide for yourself. Fuck your dreams, okay? I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Fuck what, what you think is your dream because that's a selfish fucking reason. And, and if you're selfish, you are not going to make it, guys. I'm telling you right now. My dream was never to be fucking a full-time trader. My dream was just to help my fucking family so that they don't fucking have to keep helping me, right? They supported me 
whenever I needed money and here I am going clubbing and shit like that when I was young, wasting so much money. And then when the bills came, they're like, oh, can I borrow money for rent? I'm like, and they're like, dude, you make fucking 200 grand a year. Where the fuck your money go? You know, I was young, didn't know about taxes, things like that. So a guy making 200 grand is actually not that much, man. After you pay taxes and all that shit, fucking better become a drug dealer, right? <laughs> Don't take that. <laughs> um, so it's, so it's kind of hard, man. I, I'm trying to express it, but I, I have so many emotions because the precursor to this video, guys, is the video that Alex made on Monday. That that video fucking struck me. It fucking hit hit me very fucking hard. You know, made me kind of sad. And so I'm feeling the same effects, and I'm like, fuck, man. It is the same way that I want to slap Alex, that I want to slap myself. We are very blessed. There's no reason for us to be fucking unhappy. We are unhappy because we are putting unnecessary stresses on ourselves. And I'm telling you this, it's because stresses does not have to be financial. You know? Financial stress versus mental stress versus family stress, relationship stress. Bro, it's it's all stress. And it's stupid. People are crying because... You know, the girlfriend broke with them. Fucking, God damn it. At least you can fucking have a girlfriend. Some guys in Japan never fucking even have a girlfriend their entire lives, right? No offense to the Japanese, but that's what I read. <laughs> um, and here I am fucking crying because I have no motivation to wake up to make thousands of dollars with one click. You see how stupid that sounds? And then there you are, guys. You guys are sitting here crying because poor baby, you can't get that Gucci belt. You know, like what the fuck? So, how is this gonna be cha life changing, guys? Because I'm telling you right now, quit fucking trading. If money is your only motivating factor, quit trading. The guys are chasing money, don't have money, and they will not have money. Okay? All the guys that are doing super well, you don't see them bragging. You, they, they are just, hey man, it's like Tom Brady. Fucking want another Super Bowl. What's the big deal, you know? He's been here before. Versus, oh, I'm the fucking best in the world, motherfucker. Nah, blah, blah, blah. And then you never hear from them again. Uh, so, shit, man. I have, I have so much to say, guys. This is the first time I'm kind of like lost for words. Um, I, I just texted Alex like before I'm done. I do it. I feel so fucking guilty. I made like four trades, four clicks, and you know, I made money. That so I went to Vegas this weekend. I don't fucking gamble. My some of my friends gamble, and I feel so bad. So they're sitting there and stuff, and so I'm like, fuck, man. You know, I'm like, dude. In my head, I'm thinking, when we trade, we are the house. You know, <laughs> and so it made me kind of sad. Where it's kind of like, you know, you you. you if you have a skill, I'm just trying to tell you guys right now. It could be any fucking skill. I'm not talking about trading, guys. It could be any, any, any fucking skill. Your skill, I call it finding your niche. Find your niche, meaning find something that makes you different than other people. So when I, I'll give you a great example. Like how I started was, I was a good engineer. I was a good programmer. If I wasn't the best, I fucking drink. I party. Fucking come to work late. I can't compete with these guys that have no lives. <laughs> no offense to the guys that have no lives. You know? These nerds, they're fucking 24 hours talking about coding. And here I am like, fuck, I just want to do the bare minimum. You know? And so I found my niche. My niche was the fact that I can articulate that. I don't have to be the best uh, software developer. But I know enough. I don't need to be the best salesperson. But I know enough sales. But you know what? How many motherfuckers can create software from scratch coding without anything and talk about it, it articulate it and sell it to someone not many people so i found my niche i was basically the the person that helped the sales guy sell complicated software so for you think about it if you're sitting in your job miserable that is because you are not thinking about yourself like what are you doing differently you are just basically competing 
with other people on their own terms, guys. Change the whole fucking shit around. Okay? I don't know where this is heading, but my point to you is this. Instead of playing by the rules, their rules, create your own rules. Okay? And this is why Alex trades for an hour and he leaves. I'm starting to understand that. But the reason I stay is that HK. I don't want to be fucking at, at the desk 24 hours, man. That's what made me fucking go crazy. And that's what made me lose money back. When you're sitting there and when you don't need money, you just fucking need to entertain yourself and get bored and do all this shit. Okay, guys? So, to fix your disciplinary problems, get a tab. Your tab should slap the fuck out of your face if you break a rule. You do not need to trade all day long to be a full-time trader. I clicked a few buttons, woke up, and fuck, I, I feel like a fool right now. I feel like one of those guys that fucking has a subscription service, wakes up t two minutes before the open and starts yelling out their trades. And then the moment they lose, they fucking leave. So I don't want to say anything, but there's one... One big time chat room guy, I logged on, I looked at it. You know, he made like 23,000 on KOSS pumping in the morning. The very next time he got dumped on OXBR, done, I'm out, bye, boom, boom. I'm like, people are paying for that shit? People are paying you to learn, man. So when I saw that, it motivated me. It motivated me to the point where I'm like, fuck this shit, okay? I'm gonna fight, this is the reason why I wake up in the morning. Not to make money. Not to have the most members. It's the fact that I'm going to say, me, Alex, MIC, every moderator, every fucking member in there is going to save the fucking world from these scammers. Okay? I cannot believe they charge three times more. And all and this guy, these guys, all they want to do is just brag about their P&L. They don't fucking help any motherfucker. You know, the moment they lose, they fucking leave. It's just crazy shit. And so today reminded me why I do what I do. Sometimes I forget about it. You know, sometimes I get tired. But at the end of the day, you have to have a reason, guys. More than just money, more than yourself. And this is, gives you purpose in life. Everybody needs a purpose in life, guys. And I'm telling you, depression is fucking real. You can be the richest motherfucker, poorest motherfucker, and be depressed. I was very depressed. You know, I felt no purpose. It's just the same old grind every fucking day. And Alex told me something this morning. A thousand people say thank you, Val. A thousand people. But two idiots say fuck you, Val. And for some reason, those two idiots resonate in our head. You know? And we forget there are a thousand people out there that are changed, that we are changing lives. But for some reason, those two fucking trolls. Two messages from two idiots that are, that are useless gets to us. Okay? We have to remind ourselves, man. You know, focus on the people that want to be helped. So if you want to become a successful day trader, guys, fuck, man, you're going to have to humble the fuck down. Start to listen to people that have been there before. Stop thinking you know every fucking shit. Get a fucking tab to control all of your bad habits. Just like an alcoholic. An alcoholic has a sponsor. They don't do this shit by themselves. You know, when you start day trading, I guarantee you, you're going to be addicted to trading. It's like gambling. Because you know why? When you make money, that feels so good. When you fucking make a nice fucking trade, it is a drug. And you just, at, over time, you are not after the money anymore. You are after that feeling of being high. And this is why people fuck up. This is why people revenge trade. Okay? So a guy that makes money already. Because that's the way it should be. Systematic, repeatable, low risk, boring. But you know what, man? We got into trading because we want to have excitement. That's the, that's the danger. This is why you need a tab. I, you know, like getting out of a hole. This is why you see so many guys on Twitter brag about how much they're down. And then they make it all back. I was down $3 billion and then I broke even. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. You know, that's because they're adrenaline junkies. They think that's, that's the way. And that's not a way to teach, guys. 
I never want to be that down that much and then brag about it. I feel I would, you know, because our people, that's not the way to do it. If you want excitement, you do something else, right? And so, anyways, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it short. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring Alex on. We'll talk about the free giveaway. I'm getting too emotional about this. I don't want to I don't, I don't get in any more of this. Uh, my whole point of this, guys, is find a reason more than yourself, guys. <clears throat> you know, think how blessed you are. If you do not have a car, think about <clears throat> think about the guy that does not have a fucking uh, feet to walk. You know, shit like that, man. We are fucking blessed, man. We are fucking blessed. Uh, hey, Alex, raise your hand. I'm going to bring you on. Do you want to do a giveaway? Here, I see Alex. Uh, how do I get Alex on here? I couldn't get you on, Alex. Where are you trying to get? So Alex is doing a free giveaway for a lifetime, which I didn't know about. So see, that's how we are, man. He feels sad he just gave it, and I love him for that. Where are you, Alex? Raise your hand. Let me see. How come I can't add people? I can't get anybody to sign on IG Live. That's so weird. Did they get rid of the split screens? Did, did Instagram Live get rid of the split screen? I can't seem to get anybody. Okay, I'm gonna. Alex, I can't. Uh, shit, man. Try to do this, Alex. Log out and log back in. And then request that I be, that you be in my video. Cause I was gonna start talking about how to get the free uh, giveaway. Waiting for us. Hey, see brother. You. There it is, bro. Finally. <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm glad right. you were saying. I'm. I'm glad you went on Instagram today, bro. I'm just for the fact that you know I tell you all the time that this your therapy session sometimes being able to just talk it out and release it into the universe is what helps us so i'm glad they were able to just let it out today man i know that that's kind of been a burden on your shoulders for a little bit so it feels good to see you letting it out man thanks man i have a little teary eye <laughs> yeah. I, I i i keep thinking about your video yesterday bro that, that's what got me i was like fuck man and the fact that uh, seriously man when you said take the week off i felt i felt so fucking guilty man like what the fuck am i doing dude why am i fucking sad you know no, everybody you shouldn't feel that way though. everybody deserves to feel sad and it's okay you know what i'm saying does it matter if you're rich poor whatever the hell it may be right and and and, and that's that thing that's difficult in life i think the difference that's why me and alex get along so well we we are very emotional and we are not afraid to show our emotions i don't find that any less manly He's sad or cries and shit like that. So, you know, that's why Alex and I became really good friends. Yep. But, uh, yep. Go ahead. Okay. So talk about your giveaway. So I don't fucking look stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I came on YouTube live yesterday and there was a lot of people that had questions. There were a lot of people that kind of came in and, you know, I kind of felt a little bit upset that I haven't been around for the last couple of days. It hasn't even been a week. Maybe I just, I just haven't been around for the last three days. I've just been traveling and all that stuff. So I said to myself, you know what? As my small apology for not being around for these past days, I want to give away a lifetime membership. So it's really easy. There's no strings attached. There's no money involved. There's no nothing. All you have to do is go onto my YouTube video yesterday, uh, the GameStop video that I talked about, and comment one lesson with your email. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, at Tasha's new member webinar at 2, during the Q&A at the end, I will come on and I will announce the winner of the lifetime giveaway. I'm going to add one more thing, guys. <clears throat> the more times you comment and make sure you watch the video because you can tell you don't. You get, you'll get more of a likelihood of doing it because we want to give it actually to someone that really wants to learn and not just someone that just, oh, I only watched your video once because you, you, you told me you're going to get something free with. Yep. So, you know, I believe everything happens for a reason, guys. So this is a chance. Talk about the last person we gave it away. Remember? Uh, oh, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? <laughs> so that's actually funny. I think we were in Orange County, Bal. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. You're right here, bro. Down the bro, <laughs> we were in Orange County, and we were doing a giveaway. I think it was just 
to one of our random members or just one random thing. And what ended up happening is a guy from Amsterdam, Trevor, on his bike, he picked up the call and he became a lifetime member. And I think six months after he became a lifetime member, he posted a five-figure day. I think he made like $10,000 or something like that. And that was just crazy, bro, because all of a sudden, this random, I think, what was he doing? I think was he delivering food or going to something like that. Dude, he, he, he was a student, dude. I think he was like 20 years old. Yeah. He, was, he was a student riding a fucking bicycle through Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. and he's the guy that won. And so on, on, on one hand, he had the, the phone for the Instagram live. And you the other hand to, to, to traverse into the bicycle. It's fucking you hilarious. know what I'll do? I'll, in the description of this video, I will link that YouTube video where we actually brought him on, too. So I'm going to do that as well. So, I mean, we changed his life. He changed our life. He made us realize that, you know, man, there are people on there around the world. A guy from freaking Amsterdam. I don't even know he's from Trevor Amsterdam. Is here. Trevor is here, bro. You should bring on Trevor. Hey, is that Trevor Kadafe? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Oh shit, he's here. All right, I'm, I mean, I'm uh, gonna get off. off. I'm gonna get off. And bring him on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll bring yeah. on. All right, I'm bring on Trevor. <laughs> Waiting for Trevor. Let's see what works. This Instagram live is kind of funky lately. Dude, that'll be so sick to come on, Trevor. <laughs> Wait, which Trevor? Um, there's a Trevor from Amsterdam. Is that Trevor Kadape? It says waiting for Trevor Kadape. You around, Trevor? Not you, Trev, the trader. <laughs> this is um the, the guy from Amsterdam. He's unable to join. Is it, maybe he's on his bicycle again. It says that uh, Trevor was unable to join. You riding your bike, brother? <laughs> Let me see. If you uh, if you're not able to talk, to let us know. I hope this is the guy. But anyways, if if he's not able to talk, uh, Alex is gonna post you a link. But you know what, man? This is why we do what we do, guys. You know, I, you have to find motivation to get up in the morning because trading is really hard. Life is really. Not that hard, actually. People say life is hard. Life is not fucking hard. You wake up, you fucking eat, take a shit, shower, go to work. What's hard is us as a human being wanting more and more and never being satisfied, never being fucking happy about any fucking shit. The only, that's just why during the pandemic, it really sucks. You can't travel anywhere. You're stuck in your own space and all you see is social media, people posting all these fucking shit that's unrealistic. And so you're sit sitting in your fucking house, locked down, because the governor won't open up your, your town, right? And you just get stuck. So, you know what changed my life, guys? The fact that I was not born here. <laughs> but you can do the same. I appreciate everything I fucking have. I should not even be alive right now. So visit a third world country. Go and help do a charity. Do something that makes you basically realize, like, your life, man. You're like... Dude, we are so fucking blessed, guys. Okay? Okay, I'll try Trevor one more time. And it is okay, guys, to have emotion as a man. No. Hey, so... <laughs> What's up? It's been a year, brother. Hi. Nice to see you. You're not on your bicycle today? <laughs> no, I'm at my trading setup. Holy shit, show people. Oh my god. You are now like a fucking professional, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm really grateful still for the lifetime that I won. It really helped me so much. So show people your training system now. Oh my god. That's amazing. 
So you start out from riding a bicycle to become like a like a <laughs> dude. You're hardcore, yeah. brother. Yes. So are you, so, it's nice. So tell us how your life has been different. Are, are you going to school? I was going. Oh, no, I am. Yeah, I you when I came on the IG live, uh, I still was in university, but now I dropped out, and I just trade full time basically. How are you doing? <laughs> really well, basically. Yeah, just <laughs> I joined. I joined the, uh, in I think April 2019, and then one month later, I won the lifetime membership, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was all upwards from there. So it's awesome, man. That's awesome. I'm so fucking happy for you, brother. You know, Thanks, so, man. <laughs> you know, that, you, you are the reason why we do this, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate yeah. your hard work. And it's I not easy, it. right? No, it's, it's not easy. It's a lot of hard work, right? For sure, so, yeah, yeah. I, I, before we end this, I would like you to help people by telling them how you got to where you are. Meaning, like, what do they need to do? What do they need to do to become Trevor? Okay. You need to watch a lot of stocks. Stay at your screens the whole day. You don't need to trade. If you if your stats say that you lose money after 10.30, you stop trading. If you lock all your monitors and you still watch all the stocks, move. you watch how they move every day, and you watch videos, all, tons of videos in the library. That's how you learn. So, so did you pay for trade or anything? Or how did you start to scale? Like from, from I just I, from I just started or... very small. Just I, I never paper traded, but that's a good idea. Always you should paper trade. But I started very small, like ten dollars risk every trade. So that's how I started. And then so slowly scale up when you become consistent. So they, there's no secret. It's hard work. Hard work and a lot of time, <laughs> right? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Oh man, that's awesome, man! Post that to the room. That your your setup. I haven't seen that. That's that's fucking awesome. You start. Did you have a laptop? I, I posted it. I posted it sometimes. I think. Did you start out with a laptop? Uh, well, I started just with one one computer and one small screen. Then slowly, I got one more big screen and one more big screen, one more big screen, and now I have four big screens, one laptop and one small screen. It's not. It's not even been a year. It's like eight months. No. Well, no. It was. Uh, it was April 2019. 2019. Oh, so two. Uh, one. Yeah. Uh, almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. So when was yeah. your aha moment? Like, you know, like you know, when you start out trading, yeah. like, oh man, then one day you wake up and holy shit, I, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really have a real aha moment, but like a breakthrough in my P and L was basically. December 2019, but yeah, for me it has just been more gradual, not one big uh, moment. That is awesome, man. I'm, I'm very happy for you, man. Thank you for coming on. What time Thank is it you. Over Thank you. What time is it over there? Uh, 5.48 in the afternoon. Oh, I'm good, man. Thank you. Go enjoy your night. All right, Trevor. Thank you, man. We'll see you in the room. Thank you, Bob. You changed my life. Thank you, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, this was unscripted, unplanned. Holy shit. I'm glad I got out of my fucking ass. Got out of the bed. Stop feeling sorry for myself because this is what we need. Everybody is going to help someone else. I call it pay it forward. And tomorrow, Wednesday, Alex is going to give away a lifetime to someone else. So join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. during the webinar, during Tasha's webinar, guys. Okay? Thanks. I love you guys. And you know what, man, this is, Alex, you're right. This is the best therapy I could ever have. And this is why I love doing this IG Live every single Tuesday for you guys. It's not just for you, man. It's for me, too. All right, see you guys.